Mi Mix has a 1080p display and achieves a maximum luminance of 783 lux. Colors on the display are punchy and pleasantly oversaturated. The Mi Mix is pleasant to look at, and given that it's basically all screen, bright colors draw attention to the device. Theoretically, 326 ppi pixel density is not flagship class in the current market, but it looks and feels just as good as the best. Where the Mi Mix fails miserably, as do all other Android phones, is in automatically adjusting brightness to the ambient light. Overall, the Mi Mix's display is drool worthy. The aspect ratio on Mi Mix's display is 16 is to 9, like most other smartphones. But if you choose to use Xiaomi's Quick Ball feature, you get a 17 is to 9 ratio screen. The 17 is to 9 ratio adds a black bar below the display when watching videos. In regular usage, the Mi Mix achieved Google Pixel-like smoothness, which is the best we can say for an Android phone today. It doesn't skip a beat when launching apps, takes a second or so when opening heavy games like Asphalt 8. Xiaomi's decision to fit a Full HD display on this phone pays off, driving up frame rates during games as well. The Piezo Electric Ceramic Actuator used for the earpiece sounds a lot smaller to the direct wave condenser used in Sharp's Aquas Crystal. The actuator is meant to convert electrical energy to mechanical energy. It feels like the sound is coming from somewhere below the display, but the quality is fine. Slightly higher volume in calls may have been better, but for the most part, the Xiaomi Mi Mix is loud enough and there's no sound leakage. The weakest link of this smartphone, like most Xiaomi phones this year, is its camera. The 16 megapixel Omnivision OV16880 sensor has one micron pixel size, and combined with Xiaomi's camera algorithms, it doesn't do very well. Low-light photography suffers from a lot of noise and lack of details. The same also appears on most other conditions. You should not buy this phone for its camera. Over a full 24 hours, with about half an hour of gaming, about 10 odd calls, lots of social networking, IMs and even 40 minutes of video streaming, we were left with 13% battery at the end of the day. That, in our book, is really good battery life in today's market. The Mi Mix costs a mere 34991 which translates to about Rs 35,000. So it's essentially a phone that feels more premium than a Google Pixel XL, performs just as well, but is priced nearer to the OnePlus 3. Thank you for tuning into Digit. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.